Hello, Amber. Enjoying the vacations? Not really. I'm a little bored. Why don't you spend your day with me? You could help me with some work around the farm. Wow! Thanks, Uncle Bob. I would love to work with you. What will be the first task of the day? I have stacked all the farm vegetables in this shed. Let us count all the vegetables and arrange them in the baskets. How are we going to count so many vegetables, Uncle Bob? It will take a very long time to finish counting. Do not worry, Amber. It will not take long. I will show you a simple method to count a large number of objects. It is called counting in tens. How can we count in tens, Uncle Bob? All you need to do is make groups of ten objects. So, each group will be equal to one ten. You just have to count the number of tens to find the number of objects. Let us count the number of tomatoes using this method. I will start by putting ten tomatoes in a basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The number of tomatoes in this basket is ten or one ten. We will put ten more tomatoes in another basket. This basket also has one ten. Now we will fill the remaining ten tomatoes in one basket. Now, Amber, we will add the number of tens. One ten plus one ten plus one ten is equal to three tens. Now, all you have to do is add a zero after three to give the number of objects. So you see, the total number of tomatoes is thirty. You were right, Uncle Bob. Counting in tens is very simple. Now I will count the number of brinjals by grouping them into tens. Sure, Amber. Go ahead. To start with, I will put ten brinjals in one basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number of brinjals in this basket is ten, or one ten. Now, ten brinjals are left behind. One ten plus one ten is two tens. I will add a zero after two to find the number of objects. So the number of brinjals is twenty. Right, Amber. Now you are ready to help me count some more objects on my farm. Let's go. Wow, Uncle Bob, this is a huge orchard. Can I have one of those oranges, please? They are still raw, Amber. The ripe oranges have been plucked from the trees and are ready to be taken to the market. Come. I'll show you how we pack them. Uncle Bob, what are these logs for? They are needed for the farm, Amber. Can you count the total number of logs kept here? Yes, Uncle. The number of logs is one ten. There are five such piles of 
110 each. So the total number of logs is 5 tens or 50 logs of wood. But what about the ones that are not tied up? You have to count them too. But they are not in tens, uncle. How can we count them? They are in ones, Amber. So to get the total number of logs, you have to add the ones to the tens. I will show you how. We know that the number of logs kept in the piles are of five tens. The number of logs kept singly is three ones. We write the number of ones after the number of tens. So you see, five tens and three ones gives 53. This is how we add ones to grouped tens. Did you understand, Amber? Yes, Uncle. Good. So now you are ready to count all the oranges in the orchard. I will put ten oranges in each bag. In one bag is one ten. We have eight bags. So the number of oranges in bags is eight tens. We also have five ones. The total number of oranges is eight tens and five ones. Eight tens and five ones is equal to 85 oranges. That was brilliant, Amber. See how easily we have counted the vegetables, logs of wood and these oranges. This arrangement makes counting things simple and quick. Now there is one last thing to be done. I am going to sell some homemade sweets also. They only need to be packed in boxes. I hope you don't mind helping me a little more. Of course not. I would love to help you, Uncle Bob. Wow! There are so many sweets. Shall we also arrange the sweets in tents, Uncle? That's right, Amber. But let us arrange the sweets in tens in such a way that counting becomes easier. Watch closely, son. How does this look, Amber? I have formed a pattern here using ten sweets. There are two lines of sweets. Don't you think it is fun counting tens in patterns? Yes, Uncle. Grouping in tens in a pattern makes counting much more simple. I want to make a new pattern with ten sweets now. Hey, Uncle Bob. Isn't it a nice pattern? See, I have made three rows of sweets. Each row has three sweets. So when we add all the three rows, we have nine sweets. And plus the one on top gives me a total of ten sweets. Brilliant Amber. And it looks just like our national flag. That was a very good idea. So you can see that although we had so many things to count, our task became simple as we had grouped them in tens and also fun using patterns to arrange them in tens. We had a great time together, didn't we? Yes, Uncle. But I must hurry home now. Bye, Uncle Bob. Bye, Amber. And thanks for all the help. I am going to count the crayons by grouping them in tens. But first, I will recollect what he taught about counting tens. Objects can be counted easily 
by grouping in tens. Objects outside the tens groups are ones. They can be added to the group tens. Objects can be arranged in different patterns of tens to make counting fun and easy.